What have I just bought? A Helberg. Join the snobs. Right. Looking forward to putting this up. Really looking forward to it. I think this is a really cool addition. So they've told me exactly which number this tent is. And also who signed it off at the end of the day. To be honest, I never really thought about getting one. My friend swears by the Acto. And I saw it and it was like, you could pay this much per month. And I, whoa. Go on in. <laughs> Let's have a go at that. All right, this is my first pitch in. Let's have a look. So, pegs. The um, paracord feels really strong, quite rough. Look at them booties. Dax. And I already know it comes with 10 because it said that on the label here. Which is a rarity to have so many pegs with a new tent. It's so normally you just, just bung four in or something and they're like, oh, I'll make do with them. And it's never enough. And the poles. Tiny. Dak again, I guess. Let's have a look. Here's we've got the instructions on here. Yeah, so we've got Dak nine mil poles. And it looks like they've included one spare as well, which is a really nice touch. And the instructions on how to do it. So the inner is already attached to the outer, so we don't have to muck about with that. I've got one door on it, so you just have to check what side you want that on. And it looks like it's going to be really easy to pitch. like that. Right, so there it is. I gotta admit, it was like completely different to the normal tents I'm used to putting it up. Uh, cinching this pole up here, yeah, that's quite a nice touch. You can see it's a very solid construction. So you get the pole in, pull this till that's nice and tight. The material covering the zip is a nice, Thick, more thick than anything else on the tent, really. This is your air ventilation scoop. So, there's a little bit of mesh up the top, but what you could do is just zip this down a little bit if you wanted extra air to come in there. Yeah, the zip goes right up the top there. Oh, I haven't even looked inside yet. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Do you know what I just realised? I'm going to have to get a footprint now. Oh, look at the zips on it, man. Those are really cool. Never seen ones like that before. Easy to grab onto. 
better than a bit of paracord. We've got a little bit of elastic and a toggle, hold the door open. And this is a lovely touch as well, look at this. He's got a heck of a name, mind. Made by Valve Nigel. Valve Nigel. Cheers, pal. Oh. <laughs> So, I'm six foot tall, and you can see I can just about sit up in the center of it. I always love the fact when they make a solid inner tent, just to cut out the drafts. And with this door, um, you've got the mesh there. So you can shut that off if you want. Now, right, here we go. So it's just a little bit of, um, Velcro, holding that up. I'm a little bit lost for words. I just never thought I'd be sitting in Heliburg. <laughs> I like it, I like it a lot. Right, let's have a little look around. So there's a huge porch. And you get plenty of room to lie down. Bigger than most one-man tents, I'd say. It's not a two. Got all sorts of cords holding everything in place. This is quite an interesting feature, yeah. So when the zip is fully down, this toggle fits through the zip. So if you're in extreme conditions, the zip can't get pulled up in the night. Now, I have heard problems of these leaking. I'm gonna leave it for now, just to see if it's all right. With this design tent, um, they don't seam seal it. But what they do, they make it to exacting standards, so it shouldn't let water through. Shouldn't, but it might still. Under this sort of hoop here, could be an area, but we'll see. I'll give it a go first. Now, what my mate does, I've seen him doing, uses that spare pole just to hold this up. Give you a little bit of extra tension there. And if you want some extra breeze, can open the vents at the bottom. Just really knock the condensation down. For me, it had to be this color. It looks different on this on the website. They've got it a more light green, but this is the way it comes. Another zip there, another vent. So as long as it wasn't too cold, you could have the two vents open. And you've got that top one. I don't think, um, don't think condensation will be a problem in there. Right, let's do the length test. Put my feet, oh, put them at the end. Um, <laughs> I've got size 12 feet, and you can see they're not touching the ceiling. Might be slightly different, mine are on an airbed, but it's not enough to be an annoyance. And there is loads of room in here. If I was laying at the side, see so you've got all that room next to you as well. It feels a nice place to be. I'm looking forward to spending some time in here. The attention to detail everywhere is second to none. There's, I keep seeing extra things on you. So we've got a zip here. So that's the insulation side, so you can Keep this set fully closed and just have that if you want extra insulation, um, 
extra ventilation or insulation. Now the vent there, it's not really a mesh, it's um, I don't know, it's like a see-through sort of material, isn't it? I suppose it's a bit like the inner there. So the door stays fully out of the way. It's not going to be flapping about on you. Get my grotty looking shoes. <laughs> these are my garden shoes, these are. Get them in the end there for you. So you can see there's plenty of room in here. And there is that feature. So if you're caught in rough weather, or just if you want to keep people out of your tent, <laughs> confuse them. There you go. It goes through there. I know I can pitch this a little bit better next time as well. It's a little bit flabby. In the corners, we've got these really thin poles. The inner hooks up onto the outer, so it's outer first design. Then, so the, this is that sort of semi-tent material as well, down the bottom end. So I think you'd find you'd, you'd get a little bit of ventilation through that if you wanted to keep this closed. See what I mean? You could see the light through it. Right, if I seem a bit underwhelmed by this, I think I'm just in shock. I just never thought I'd have a Hilleberg. But here we are. <laughs> so I've gone round just uh, adjusting all the, the guy lines. I'm not used to them having two toggles on as well. I think that's confused me a little bit. And everything just seems a little bit higher quality than I'm used to, I'll be honest. So it's little extra things that um, you don't see on the cheaper tents. Looking forward to getting out in this a lot. In fact, I'm taking it out tomorrow night. So, check back next week, and you can watch that vid of me. I think we're going to um, an old abandoned quarry with old buildings in and stuff. One thing I'll say, I do wish I got the footprint with this. Um, just because it'll keep it all nicer, you know? Keep this inner nice and clean underneath. Because this is going to be a tent for a long time. I'm going to want to get my money's worth out of this. I just noticed there's a tab here as well, so you could have a guy line coming off here if you wanted. Don't really see much need. It seems pretty solid as it is with 10, 10 pegs, so. There's also two tabs on the roof. What I'll do, I'll add a little bit of paracord, so you could just hang a lantern up there or something. They're only really close together, so you're not gonna dry anything, but lantern would be ideal. So there it is. If you watch my channel, I'm sure you'll be seeing this a lot more. Because I'm definitely going to be going out in this, putting it through his paces. The only problem is, it's exactly the same colour as my mate's tent, so... <laughs> but this has got to be the colour for me. Didn't really like the look of the other two. Thanks for watching that. Catch you next week.